Hi, welcome to Rovado. It's been a while, but I'm back and I'm planning to upload more videos in the next couple of weeks. Today though, I want to talk about the Kwaku Summer Festival. It's located in Amsterdam from the Netherlands and it's spread out over the course of four weekends. It started out in 1975, so it's been a while. Like so many other events, it's cancelled this year because of the COVID-19. People from all over visit Kwaku. Last year there were about 390,000 people. And I was one of them. Now I grew up with this festival in the 80s and in the 90s, so yeah, it's very special to me. I remember going every weekend. And that's, this was in the day that uh, the entrance was free and the event lasted about six weekends. Well, the entrance nowadays is like 10 euros, but it's better because uh, when an event is as big as Kwaku, you need really good security. And also the performances, people from all over the world come to Kwaku to perform. It's like 7 euros in the first weekend and in the last weekend it's like 10. Now I was there last year with my friend Jurgen Kramer. I had planned to do a little segment, uh, a little piece uh, of Kwaku and tell you guys what it means to people. Instead we got caught up uh, with the festivals and enjoyed ourselves a little too much. So we just filmed whatever was around us. I thought it would be fun to share with you uh, some of the footage we shot and explain what Kwaku means, what it is and what you can see when you go to this festival. Kwaku represents the Surinamese and Caribbean community, something I've been part of my whole life. Like some of you know, I'm born and raised in multicultural Amsterdam and always embraced other cultures. I think it makes our lives so much more interesting and richer. At Kwaku everybody gets together, black, white or whatever color you have, it really doesn't matter. And what age you have is not important too. There's something to enjoy for everyone. We come together to dance, watch a soccer match, there are around 100 food stands so that's a big deal too. And don't forget the music. Music is played everywhere. performances by artists on two main stages. This year we were expecting the King of Salsa himself, Mr. Oscar de Leon. Well, I hope he will come next year. In the past there were many other artists that came, like for instance Grupo Nietzsche, Frank Reyes, Kassav, or Earth, Wind and Fire, and Jocelyn Brown with Incognito. You can also enjoy performances in some of the stages in big tents that are set up for this. Many times with a combination of sitting down and you can enjoy food as well. This is what many of us do with our friends and have meaningful or fun conversations. There are other things to explore as well. Kwaku also have beauty or dance pageants. People can debate or go to a reading. Last year there was even a stand where you could sign up to join the army. Kwaku Summer Festival is strongly involved in the development and well-being of the young and elderly of Southeast Amsterdam, 
also known as the Balmer. All Surinamese and Antillian populations, the Caribbean LGBTI community, budding talents and renewed artists from the Balmer. Well that's about it for this video, I hope you liked it, if you do give me the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, I would like to invite you to start a conversation with me below this video. Make sure you hit the bell too if you like to be notified when I upload a new video. Until the next time, bye bye.